welcome back to uh, the next video and um, let's um, let's go ahead and read uh, by the way when you when you're when you're reading these paragraphs uh, it's important to mark them to number them so the other two paragraphs that we read first are going to be paragraphs one and two this is going to be paragraph three and it's important to mark them each time and we're going to keep these we're going to keep the, the, you know, the main idea here and the questions that are before us. What do different substances have to do with densities? We're still thinking about that. And what do atoms have to do with the density of a substance? So I'd like you to pause this video just for a few minutes, and I'd like you to read this paragraph to yourself. Try reading it to yourself. And then you can restart the video, and I'll read it, and we'll mark the paragraph. Okay, so pause, and I'll, uh, and I'll read it to you in just a couple of minutes. You read it yourself. Okay, so welcome back. And uh, what do atoms have to do with the density of a substance? And why do different substances have different densities? All atoms have three basic structural components or parts. These parts are protons, neutrons, and electrons. The protons and neutrons make up the nucleus of an atom, while the electrons move rapidly around the nucleus in an area called the electron cloud. And you can take a look at the little, at the little, uh, sketch of, uh, of, a, of an atom down below. Believe it or not, most of the volume of an atom is made up of empty space. Okay, so pause this video just a minute and take a look at all the space between the electrons and the nucleus, uh, the protons and the electrons in the middle of the atom. Just pause and take a look at it and study it. Okay, so the modern model of an atom looks like a cloud of electrons surrounding a nucleus made up of protons and neutrons. So electrons are represented as a cloud because scientists believe that the electrons are moving so fast that they almost appear to be everywhere at once in the area surrounding the nucleus. So let's take a look at atoms and how they combine to form all the matter on Earth. Okay, let's mark this paragraph. Your main ideas or your, your keywords would be protons. So you want to circle protons and then neutrons and electrons. And as we think about these, protons, come, you can come down here if you'd like and mark protons. You can write it even a little bigger. Uh, you're going to have to sketch this on your own page. So you're going to sketch this um, uh, maybe over to the side or down at the bottom of the page. So these are protons. And then um, we also have neutrons, N-E-U-T, R O N S neutrons, and then of course these guys are electrons out around the outside. So we have electrons. And electrons, as you see, are negatively charged. Protons are, let's finish that S there, are positively charged. Electrons are negatively charged. And neutrons, they have no charge. Okay, so we have those marked down below. Another key word then is nucleus. And um, so nucleus, uh, where would we find an understanding or an explanation in our reading of what, uh, of what nucleus is? Well, right here, the protons and the neutrons make up the nucleus of an atom. So let's put a little link button there. So come down to the picture here, that, and you're going to need to sketch this picture. This would be the nucleus. So that would be the nucleus of the atom. Okay, and then um, the other keyword is electron cloud. And we'll circle that in red. And the electron cloud, of course, is um, is this area around the nucleus uh, that is made up of electrons. So we're going to circle here. Electrons move rapidly around the nucleus in an area called the electron cloud. And let's put a bullet right there. We'll tag that. Okay, so the modern, believe it or not, most of the volume of an atom is made up of empty space. And that's kind of a key idea that is going to help us understand a little bit about density. Because when we think about density, uh, don't we think about how much space there is and how much actual matter is packed into that space? 
Okay, so um, these are the key ideas about the atom. I think most of you have seen these before and you've got a good idea uh, what these are all about. So um, if you would please, if you haven't, finish marking this paragraph. Make sure you mark it paragraph number three. D draw yourself a little sketch of the nucleus. You can pause it right here so you have, uh, you can kind of make a sketch. If you'd like, you don't have to put this many uh, particles in the middle. If you'd like, you could just put like two atoms and, uh, or excuse me, two protons and two neutrons and then just put two electrons out here to the side. But let's see how, I mean, uh, there's, uh, there's a little bit we need to understand about how many neutrons, protons, and electrons make up an atom, and we'll be coming to that. But uh, I want you to draw yourself a little sketch of an atom with the nucleus in the middle showing some protons and neutrons and then electrons around the outside. And, uh, and then we'll take a look at the next paragraph.